Yay. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night Raw review. It's the Raw after WrestleMania, people. Some people were saying that uh, what I saw, people were saying this was the worst Raw of all time or this was one of the most boring Raw after Manias. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm only going to say that this Raw was only a bit better from last year's Raw After Mania. If you remember, Raw After Mania last year was so fucking boring. Like, I don't know. Like, that, that's, like, why I have to really say, like... I do see why people are saying, like, Raw was, like, fucking bad. And I agree. For the most part, Raw was freaking bad. Like, you would think, like... When the show started, the show started off good... And then, oh, Lesnar was going to wrestle tonight. Lesnar and Reigns, they actually fucking proposed a match tonight. Holy shit. They're actually going to give us something to watch and look forward to. Then you had to wait for the main event. And literally, right after that, nothing was fucking happening. Literally, just a bunch of stupid shit. Just boring fucking garbage. It was basically a typical Raw without Lesnar and Reigns up until the main event. Which, I, of course, sure. It's something to look forward to in the main event. And then we don't fucking get it. What a fucking cock tease. So WWE basically cock tease us to try to look forward to Raw when the entire Raw has been basically shit. This Raw was fucking shit. It was fucking boring. And like, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I know Smarts are looking forward to like, oh, some debuts and returns. I mean, sure, there was a little return like Matt Riddle or whatever. Some people are thinking like, you know, they want to see all these NXT call-ups. But here's the thing. Again, when you do NXT call-ups, I prefer that like, you do it like similar to how you debut Rusev or even Veer Mahan or whatever. Basically, guys, when you debuted, that people went on to actually be memorable. Like, you gotta do fucking vignettes. You gotta fucking build these people up to be on the main roster. You gotta do vignettes. That's how they get over. Imagine you just do, like, just again, it's the problem with, like, when you, that's why a lot of these NXT people don't get over. You know, you don't, you do, oh, is this guy from NXT and it's not gonna work. You gotta fucking do vignettes and promote them to be on the show. But unfortunately, yeah, I mean, even though that didn't happen, which I'm kind of happy it didn't, because I didn't want to see, oh, it's this guy from NXT without fucking promoting them, like a vignette or whatever. Unfortunately, we still got a boring Raw. We still got a boring Raw with the people we, that we see on the show, and they have done fuck all. They're fucking boring. This show was fucking boring. It's like WWE, like they decided a lot, like they decided not bother putting effort to the show. Like besides that, hey, we have something to set up to the main event. You gotta watch the main event. They think because they have that to look us to look forward to the main event. That's why they didn't put effort. And how fucking pathetic was that? WWE lack literally. That, and, and looking looking at what happened, like on fucking the main event of Raw. Look what fucking happened. What a waste of time. I mean, don't get me wrong. Do I enjoy what happened in the main event? Sure, it's good for, I guess, you know, the, sum, the something. But, like, what a cock tease. It's just basically saying, fuck you, defense. We're not going to give you a real match. We're not going to give you something to look forward to. Think, like, wow, this will actually be the e opening effort on Raw or something. So, there you go. I would humbly grab your... I would a humbly ask all of you to grab your Coca Cola, drink my Miss Lee, spy Miss a Bitches, go, oh shit, oh shit. Like, what a cock tease. You know, you don't want chicks giving you cock tease, but I'll tell you how you save yourself a cock tease. You give a chick a Coca Cola in a Styles glass and drink my Miss Lee, and spy Miss a Bitches, go, oh shit, oh shit. That's good stuff. This shit was literally a cock tease of a show. Like, the show, it started off fine. You know, Triple H, you know, uh, you know what he was saying. And then you had Roman. And then Lee like, wow, Lesnar actually showing up along with Cody, you know. A big tag match for tonight. A WrestleMania caliber tag match. And we don't get that. You don't get that. So, God forbid, you do something to make people care about the show. You don't, and you don't even bother to do something, look to, like, to make, like, you don't even do something, like, like, how we're gonna make sure we keep people watching the show besides the main event, and then they'll probably tune back, like, 10, whatever. How are we gonna fucking give a shit about the show? Just bu bullshit, and then they fucking cock tease us in the end. What a cock tease. Was it okay? Like, what they did in the end? Fine, sure. But it's like, wow, what a cock tease. And just, it doesn't help when the show was literally fucking terrible. I will say, yes, the Raw After Mania this year was better than last year, in my opinion. Like, last year, like, what the fuck happened? Just a bunch of boring bullshit. 
okay? I didn't even believe last year was a cock tease too. We've got to see. We're almost gonna have an announcement. And he said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to SmackDown, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna go after tag titles, and then nothing but bullshit." I don't know. Don't he just love to cock tease us? Like, what, what's wrong with his company? I thought Triple H is in, is in charge. The fuck is on? I, I, you could say part of it may be Vince, but I just think no matter what, like, wow. And I like and I did and I was angry that WWE is being sold to Endeavor. I was angry about this. You know what? <laughs> wow. You know you might as well just sell now. Fuck it. I can't believe I was. I mean the thing is at least with, like I would rather like WWE be owned by some people we know and uh, who knows about the business than people who don't know. Sure, they might be involved apparently still like, but they're not going to be like the face of the running business really. But wow, what a cock tease, man. Like, they always like the cock t-shirt. Raw after Manias, man. Like, this has been the format for a few years. Like, and, I mean, I'm happy they did not do any fucking stupid debuts. But, like, I'd rather you build up those debuts, like, vignettes or whatever. But, like, besides that, these fucking Raw after Manias has usually been fucking boring bullshit, I tell you. Like, my God, this is supposed to be, yeah, new season, new year, whatever. You know? New fucking stuff going on. And, like... I mean, I don't mind, like, sometimes, I'll get various times, like, when, you, since Raw has been a thing, like, it's not really, like, so, so new, like, you are continuing, basically, Roman and Cody, but, you're basically, you know, you're doing stuff that also, like, make you people care, like, God forbid, Raw of the Maze used to be fucking big and exciting, yet this Raw was, what a joke, what a fucking joke. Like, Raw of the Manias has not been exciting for years, like, you would be looking forward to what will happen next, like, this should be a chance. You have to understand, this should have been a chance. WWE capitalize on gaining new fans. Because, come on, this is after WrestleMania. This is your chance to probably get people to keep watching the show. And our new or old fans to come back and watch it after WrestleMania to see what's going to happen. And look what happened. You did fucking boring garbage. Shit, not no, any story. Like, shit that makes no sense. And you just had a cock tease in the main event. I don't mind, like, sure, building up, even though I would like to, like, man, like, you just, like, would it be fucking something? Wow, Lesnar actually wrestling on the show, and actually fucking, right, it's kind of like, wow, you actually could make us fucking care about the show, but no, you don't do any of that. You get nothing. Like, again, I would probably have been less angry if the show was good. The thing is, the show was suck majority so that's the fucking problem the show is more majority boring garbage what a sh what a fucking cock tease too it didn't help no one wants to be collecting cock tease people the show started with uh, you know it, it so basically this entire show was basically full of boring bu bullshit that we've seen oh you know one return of a wrestler that we basically don't give a fuck about besides marks you know, a bunch of WrestleMania recaps and all that kind of shit. Bunch of WrestleMania pictures because they always be basically do that nowadays. It's like, can you fucking do you not remember how you did Raw after Mania years ago? Like, did you not remember how you made Raw after Mania exciting and shit like that, advancing storylines, even new storylines, stuff like that? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? I, I don't even know. I don't fucking know, man. The show started with Live the Game! Like, after, like, the whole resume recap or whatever, Triple H comes out, you know, he wanted to say thank you to, like, again, okay, sure, it's great seeing Triple H since now, you know, he's freaking just, he's more running the show, whatever. But if that goes to show that he's running the show, and, you know, because, again, I thought creative control, like, people say he's different than Vince, but, listen, I understand I defended WD or wanted freaking WD to, like, freaking, you know, Keep the company for themselves because like like or not not a lot of people in this company or, or outside of wrestling know how to fucking do professional wrestling they don't you know they're not the old school promoter and don't like you know all have the old school mentality i will say triple h sure he has a bit of old school mentality i don't completely hate triple h because again i still think sure he knows what what works that that's why fucking he is like one of the reasons why Ro roman is still champion you know you, it, like he, I believe he is, like Roman is his guy too, but the fucking problem is like sure he cares to Smarks at the same time. So, yeah. 
But, I mean, hey, it's just... Wow, what a joke, huh? So much for just Rob the Mania. And I, I, and I find it funny that people always complain that it's Vince's fault. What if it wasn't Vince, you know what I mean? Anyways, and yeah, I, I do know Vince McMahon has a mustache now. Like, wow, what a... Yeah. Okay, the show started with Triple H. <laughs> the game after the whole recap of WrestleMania, which... It's, it's just a darn shame. WrestleMania being a good show, which I actually thought it was definitely a great WrestleMania as a whole. I, I enjoyed both nights. I, I'm surprised that I'm, I was able to enjoy both nights as it was, and I would give credit to where it's due. It just would be nice that Raw and SmackDown would be just as good. Wouldn't it be a perfect world that wrestling would actually be good entirely? That there would be actually good characters going on storylines and shit like that? I mean, sure, are they, are they adding a new storyline? But it's like, really? Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes? When back in the day, Cody Rose would be a jobber getting beat to shit. Can't, can't, but now, Cody Rose could oh, come the odds. Like, how is that going to be cool? Oh, this is why I, I mean. And plus, like, come on, really? Lesnar's a heel again? Like, we kind of see a bunch of times Lesnar's a heel. Like, he's becoming literally big show now and turning face and heel. Like, Lesnar is actually a cool baby face. And you're going to turn a heel. Great. Wow. I mean, didn't you like not want to reunite the feud with Lashley? I was like thinking, hey, you want to reunite the rivalry? Maybe you could do something like to that. They, that way, you can end their proper their, end their feud properly. Lesnar and Lashley in one match. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It is what it is. Maybe even Lashley could have been the one costing Lesnar in the match. That could have been something. You could have done something to. You could still have the match advance storylines or whatever. I don't fucking know. Or I don't know. Even after the match, even you could have done Cody a uh, fucking. Lesnar attack I don't fucking know. Just you really cock tease us, man. God forbid, like making us try and look forward to a raw, and you make us wonder why. This is one of the reasons why people stop watching, because the content cock teases. Like people, you're gonna try to make people have to do something that's good. Like all right, something big's gonna happen. Hell yeah, I'm gonna look forward to the show. But not only you make a show boring to not make make people care right after the show, right, right after an opener that make us fucking care about the main event or whatever. Like, something you had a good opening segment. You basically just, like... You, oh, that's all we need to do to make people care about the show. Like, what a joke. This is why people... One of the reasons why people actually stop watching. Like, it's not... It's not just, like, all... It's not even just about the cock teases. It's like nothing's happening on Raw. Nothing exciting. No stories. No characters. Shit like that. You're just bust of... Fucking A. You're just baby Fuck you to fans. Fucking A. Triple H comes out and says, Live the game. You know, there's been a lot of talk for WrestleMania. I just want to say thank you to our wrestlers who put the boys in the line. The staff, the camera crew, Stu. Because, like, John Cena, he mentioned Stu. Like, he loves Stu. I don't know why I remember the guy named Stu, but hey. Uh, Stu, I love you. We love you, Stu. And we can't take also the fans. There's been a lot of talk of the WWE, uh, what's going on this season, what people don't want to hear, but I'm going to show you that WWE is not going nowhere, because I'm the game! Uh. Yeah, WWE's not going anywhere, but I could, I, again, we don't know, we, we honestly don't know what, because I'm telling you, again, you could say that WWE isn't going anywhere, but you never know what's going to happen, you don't know, but all we know that eventually will change. Everything we know about WWE will be cease to exist. You ever know that? Let's try to enjoy, I guess, you know, the time we have. It's like, it's like, wow. What a joke. Like, what's going on with this fucking company, I tell you. You know what I mean there? So then Roman Reigns comes. Oh, dude. The best way I could open the show is I'm going to introduce... The man, the, the, the knowledge of man, who held the time for 940-something days. The tribal chief, the WWE Universal Champion, Robert Reigns. I should take the time. I would love it if Triple H just fucking come out of retirement. It's like, fuck my heart issues. I'll fucking beat you for the title. Like, I, come on. I would rather see that shit, too. Like, uh, I miss Triple H, man. I mean, it's good for having him on. Like, it's just like, you know, he's not going to wrestle, so it's like, uh. Understand, but it just sucks that like wow, like what was his last match? Apparently his last match was in Japan. Like people saying his last match was against Orton at that Saudi show, which by the way, in my opinion, was not that great, unfortunately. Was disappointing. 
And he could have done much more to make that match better, but or even like even storyline wise. But like like wow. This match was in Japan in twenty nineteen when they were like in Japan or whatever. It just sucks. And he's like his on screen fight was like against Orton too, which, you know, hey fuck it, you should have made that a match, like when you had the chance. You should have made that an official match. Whatever. Uh, Roman Reigns comes out, you know, he says, acknowledge me, blah, blah, blah. He's a champion still. Or he says, doesn't much need to be said. Then Cody Rose comes out. He said, you know, he had to beat, but if it wasn't for Solo Sokoa, didn't get involved. That, um, yeah, if it wasn't for Solo Sokoa, like, he would have, like, basically win the match or whatever. So, like, um, what was I going to say? I gotta get some better notes Hold on a second um, I have a better notes here Hold on a second ladies and gentlemen Cause like Yeah okay Yeah there's like a bunch of like So it's funny like you know Roman gets the Like you know the boo reaction even though he's a heel Obviously you know a lot of fucking fans Are angry but you know what It's not even fuck you It's like they fucking hate Roman because But it's like it's funny they think Roman, oh, he, he evil, you know, how, you know, he's not good, he, he sucks. No, you're just mad that fucking Cody lost, you fuck. It's still real, you damn it. Stop saying that because Roman sucks. No, you're fucking bullshit. Uh, so, uh, Roman calls on Hollywood to acknowledge him, but Roy, Cody Rose interrupts. Cody knows that he wants to, he wants to talk about, ter, uh, today is turning, uh, turning a, a lot differently than he had anticipated for. He thought he'll be the one standing as champion. Cody will acknowledge this. Last night, Roman was the better compared, but last night, Cody had him. Cody knows that he wants to talk about, and it boils down to one word, fan chant rematch, and then he said rematch. It's like, uh, why? Not now. There's no reason for you to have a rematch. Like, it's not even like, you got, to, like, the guy lost his fucking one-on-one -on -one match. It's like, why you need a rematch? I don't know. He even asked, what exactly do you want to, this, uh, this rematch? He said tonight, and then like uh, Ray Hamer says, not no rematch, not tonight, not Puerto Rico, not SummerSlam, not Survivor Series, not Royal Rumble, not Masters of Garden, no, no, no. Didn't mention WrestleMania, so what? They're gonna do WrestleMania one more time again with both of them? Like that? You never be, you never know. Maybe if The Rock is not there, they're gonna do fucking that match at the same time. You never know. I don't fucking know. But hey. I don't fucking know. So, but then, like, Heyman then authorized that Roman to inform Cody that the challenge, uh, whatever, no, what I'm saying. Cody said that, screw it, I want to do something tonight. F screw it, I want both. It practically was a tag match yesterday. Why not a tag match? A tag match player? Then uh, Heyman accepted it, whatever. they talk, He talked like, you know, one minute pulp of war, whatever, whatever he said. Um, stupid Spanish. Uh, he then, they then accepted, but then says, uh, says um, that Superstar will never get a title shot as long, at Roman as long as he's champion. Um, I don't know. Apparently, it has to be a person that competed at WrestleMania, apparently. Uh... I don't fucking wait. I don't know. Brock Lesnar comes out to a huge pop. All oh, you need to know, Brock Lesnar comes out. And he said, you know, he, he, Corey Graves points out. Because typically he says it's a fight Lesnar and then he doesn't get a shot or whatever. So I guess, uh, yeah, apparently, you know, he doesn't get the shot anyways if he was to help Cody win. So he comes out, he shakes Cody's hand, they hug, blah, blah, blah. We see face, baby face Brock, Roman and Solo gathering along with Heyman. And it seems like, like wow. We're actually going to get Lesnar fighting tonight. And for the first time ever in like Raw history. No, Raw history. The first time in like many years. Because it's been like fucking what? Since 2002? Basically, in like 22 years or whatever. 23 years. Or 20, 21 years. I don't fucking know. Basically, in the first time in since 2002, we would get Raw fucking wrestling. Fucking Brock Lesnar wrestling on Raw. I was like, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Wow, we're actually going to get something to look forward to. Even though people like wonder why would this make sense. But hey, you know, it's a big match. Fuck it on Raw. Like, hell yeah. God forbid, can we get more of this to make something look forward to on Raw? 
Can we have to get something more of this to look forward to? No. Even though it's a cock tease, I would have been fine even anyways, but like, the show was bad. But it's like, God damn, can we at least get something good for crying out loud? I feel like every fucking, this entire show, actually you think about it, the entire show was just a cock tease. And I'll tell you why. This entire show was a cock tease. Everything they, everything they did was basically a cock tease. You know, to sum it up, fucking Bianca and fucking Rhea Ripley, they had a face off. What a cock tease. They didn't even go anywhere with that. They didn't announce a unification match, which I'm happy. Like, fuck it. Unify the titles. Fuck it, who cares? Unify the tiles. I want to see fucking two separate tiles. Some people were like, no, don't unify the tiles. Why? Why do you want fucking two separate titles? Doesn't that devalue the titles? Like, fucking hey, People say, that we need a champion on Raw. We need two. Well, guess what? You had Roman on Raw anyways, you fucking retards. We don't need two separate champions. Why? Why do you guys want a fucking shitty brand split? A fucking brand split is fucking stupid. And you want stupid fucking different pay-per-views and shit. Like... Why you want two fucking separate world champions when one of the championships will devour the other? Like, come on here. No. Combine the titles. Have Raw be a continuation of SmackDown. SmackDown be a continuation of Raw. Vice versa. And then you build up to the fucking pay-per-view. It's simple as that. And at the same time, you should do exciting shit. But this Raw, you know, like, wow, what a fucking cockies, you know? What a fucking cockies, I tell you. But, I don't know. It was a fine opener. It was like, yeah, got you something excited for it. It's just a darn shame right after this. The first match, Omos squashes Elias. I just feel bad for Elias. Like, what did Elias do? Like, what did he fucking do to, like, fucking be, like, a jobber now? Like, what did he fucking do? Like, damn. Like, fucking goddamn. Like, what did he want to fucking do? Like, the motherfucker didn't do shit. And he's like, fucking, Damn. Then the Usos are shown backstage. Roman and Heyman, uh, uh, the Usos not the Roman's locker room. They came to talk to Roman, and he oh, Heyman opens the door, says Reigns with solo talking strategies for the main event. And Heyman says Reigns wanted them to do, uh, know that this was a spectacular WrestleMania weekend for some, and the contribu contributions were greatly appreciated. Heyman says the jet is fired up after Roman Solo mopped the floor with Cody and Lesnar, and they will be the jet with the Usos. I would have liked it, obviously. Like, they should have done something where they should have, like, built up more. That, if not, because again, I know I was hoping that they would probably do, like, oh, the bloodline's no longer together. I was hoping, like, and maybe on SmackDown, like, they should do something where the Usos be, be like, why? Okay, we helped you all the time. Why, why aren't you there to help us? Like, they should do something like that. You know, like, they're always there for Roman, but Roman's never there for us, which I was hoping they would actually acknowledge in a way, you know, to mention. Maybe in the future, which would be nice. Because that would be nice. But obviously it would be nice to see, like, why not? Like, since the feud, it seems like they've only been starting, and since they didn't, like, really break off from the bloodline, and they're, like, still in, in rivalry with, like, Owens and Zayn. Why not, like, I don't know, why weren't they there to confront the Usos and, uh, like, Owens and Zayn? Because, again, I do think, you know what, if, like, I do think, like, even if they were to leave the bloodline, they should, like, still have a rematch. And I do volunteer, like, hey, do a rematch one more time, maybe Backlash or something. I don't know, I, I mean, it would be cool even on SmackDown or whatever, but anyways, like, Backlash. Why not do, like, a sort of, like, a one more match with the Usos and, and... Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, but this time maybe like a ladder match, you know what I mean? Like I would, I would, I would think that would be fucking amazing. Like definitely one more time, one more stipul, and a, just a different stipulation, the ladder match somewhat. Like hey, that's fucking like that's a way to fucking also end a feud and I don't know just something exciting to make people care. Like hey, one more, one more match, build up a few a little bit more, help build a little dissension between the bloodline. It'll be fucking great, you know what I mean? I think that would be great. It just sucks like they were not on the full show. Like, but it's like that's also what's what's stupid that Owen did did tonight. It's just like, wow, what another waste of time that I have to fucking mention. Like, what was the point of WrestleMania? We're gonna talk about it. Like, what a fucking joke. We see Bad Bunnies in the crowd. Uh, interviewed by Hot Kathy Kelly. Hey, Kathy Kelly, what's going on? You wearing black? Come to my big black couch. Make you go, oh shit, oh shit, it's good stuff. 
Um, oh yeah, by the way, the reason why I'm not drinking my Coca Cola's my muesli is because I just have allergy medication, so I can't really drink it right now, unfortunately. So like, you know, it, yeah, there you go. But definitely, always going to be a nice Coca Cola time, that's for damn sure. Um, Ray Mysterio comes out, you know, he comes to Big Pop, he greets Bad Bunny, says in an emotional week, you know, he's that, like, thanks to fans, you know, being part of the Hall of Fame, and thanks to fans, all that kind of stuff, but then Austin Theory comes out. Obviously, I was hoping that, you know, something like big, even like, well, fuck it, like, why not Austin Theory just, I don't know, even Cena just comes out. Obviously, Cena will not be there, but it would be nice to say, you know, okay, you're happy, you won, and blah, 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 but maybe Cena could have, like, passed some, I don't know. Cena could have, like, I don't know, introduced some wrestler. He could even introduce, like, Braun Breaker or something. You know, obviously, I know I said, like, but it's got to be built up. Like, when I say, like, when you bring up a wrestler, you know, like, it would be nice, like, sure, like, I don't know. Or, like, some baby face to come out and fucking, this could lead to them versus Austin Theory. He would endorse a wrestler, and that would lead to him feuding with Austin Theory for the U.S. I don't fucking know. Something, man. Obviously, if Cena won, it would have been way better. And I would have liked it that, you know, him losing to a, like, a fucking, you know, like, I don't know, a future big heel. Could have been Solo Sokoa. It could even be Dominic Mysterio. It could even be, again, like, sure, these open challenges could be, like, him facing Braun Breaker even. And fucking all the bot, bot, bing, bada, boom, you know. It just would be better for U.S. title. But here he comes out. He says, oh, I respect, you know, yeah, me and you deserve respect. He was referencing Rey Mysterio for what they did at WrestleMania. Ray beat the product out of his own bad own bad parenting while Theory beat a legend in John Cena. Fans chant, you tapped out, mentioning how Cena basically kind of beat him at first. And Theory says that they tapped out for not believing him. Cena chants start up and Theory says that he isn't here, he's a part-timer, and then he will beat Ray Mysterio and add him to the collection too. Ray says that Theory will be collecting his teeth after the 619. It would have been nice, like, why not make this for the U.S. title? You know, why isn't this U.S. title match? And this could have been something like, wow, after WrestleMania, you know, a U.S. title match, and then fucking Rey Mysterio basically wins the title. Like, wouldn't that be fucking cool? And then that could lead to even him and feuding with Dominic even more, and that would lead to Dominic even winning the U.S. title something. I don't fucking know. Because what is Austin Theory going to do as U.S. champion? It's going to always go bore and face a boring fucking jobber. That's a baby face. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. Um, Rey Mysterio loses to Dom, uh, fucking uh, Austin Theory defeated Rey Mysterio with the assistance of Dominic Mysterio. Dominic attacked Rey and has some words with Dom Bad Bunny and ringside, basically mentioning what happened at WrestleMania. Dominic turns to leave but stops and goes for a right hand. Bunny blocks and drops Dom Dominic, but then Priest slams uh, Bunny over the arena. Uh, over the bar barrier, and Dominic charges it, but Bunny drops him again, and then Priest drops Bunny, and he choke slam Bunny through the table. So yeah, this basically means that Bad Bunny will pr probably team up with Ray, Ray Mysterio versus them. So yeah, uh, they're uh, yeah. So I don't I I don't think they mentioned, but yeah, isn't it? So yeah, basically, you know. Damon Priest, you know, they're no, he's no longer cool with B Bad Bunny. Maybe they should mention that. I, I, that could be a good way to, I guess, you know, introduce, like, some storyline with Bad Bunny and, ba and Damon Priest since they were, like, you know, Damon Priest would help Bad Bunny with his first match or whatever. They could probably establish a story with that and definitely mention since, yeah, basically turn on Bad Bunny, so. Again, I don't care for Bad Bunny, but I give him credit for being a, you know, a fucking star that wants to do this, so I give him credit for that. I give him credit, like, sure, he's a fan, and he actually, like, wants to wrestle, so... Good for him. Isn't it funny that all these stupid fucking non-wrestlers are better than these fucking no non-talented wrestlers? Like, I swear to God, like, that's the fucking problem with fucking... All these wrestlers are no different than these fucking... And, like, uh, these celebrities, and these celebrities were e able to do better because they're, like, better actors and better entertainers. And, like, they're able to fucking learn how to do all the stupid shit that these sparks like, and they end up being better than these fucking non-talented non hacks. Like, these talented wrestlers, these supposed talented wrestlers, these fucking full-time wrestlers, 
We'll never fucking tie, uh, tie fucking the shoes of the fucking ma of the legends like Rey Mysterio, fucking Lesnar, Taker, fucking Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Rock, Stone Cold, you name it. All those fucking great wrestlers, they can never tie their shoes and be close to them. But it's like these celebrities, they could. Just because their name value all, but they actually fucking put in the work and fucking out of be entertaining. These are just, just indie schmucks. That's what happens when you're fucking have the indie mentality, people. Fucking how is that a thing? I don't I can't I don't know what to tell you. Isn't that fucking funny and amazing to see? And crazy? Kevin Owens the same thing comes out to a big pop you deserve a chance. Like, I don't know, like it's just like they feel it's like they're lazy doing something after me. I don't know, this raw just feels lazy. They're just lazy. They don't feel like doing fucking anything. So Owens and Zayn comes out. You know, Owens agrees with the fans and says, "You all deserve the or two. You all deserve two because of you, bro. We all bring more change." Sammy goes uh, to speak, but fans saying all lay. Sammy says it's been a long year for him, from Johnny Knoxville from last May last year to main eventing this year. Uh, Sammy knows that this is corny, but he says is uh, wants to move on. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you. And so thank you, saying to the fans. Then Owen says he calls an A tag team to back if they want to make a name for themselves and blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, and then the Street Profits comes in. I'm just saying myself. Didn't the Street Profits win some stupid bench showcase match at WrestleMania? Shouldn't this by logic be a tag title match? Shouldn't they just call them out instead of some bullshit open challenge? Which, again, I hate these open challenges. And I'm just saying myself. Why wasn't this for the tag titles? What was the point of WrestleMania? I understand, sure, I like the fucking stupid showcase match with the men. But there was like no story. But like, I thought the same was. And you know what the fucking stupid thing is? This same shit happened for the women. I thought the women's showcase match was supposed to be for the tag titles. And they, they proceeded that on no more contenders match? Like what? What was the point of WrestleMania? Like, I swear, this is shit like this. Is what I hate about modern wrestling. What I hate about... Like, what was the point? What a fucking... Like, what a fucking waste of time, then. Like, for WrestleMania. Like, WrestleMania could have been even more perfect. Could have probably been 8 out of 10 out of 9. If you didn't have that stupid shit, then. What a joke. What a joke. What a waste of time, then. These showcase match. For nothing. I thought the point was for them to get a tag title match. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, great. Like, in a way, not a cock tease or just not cock tease. It's like, not, who really wants to see? I'm sorry. But I don't know why people are like pretending to be big fans of it. I'm not saying the Street Profits are terrible. You know, at least they try to have something. But it's like, obviously, they're never going to be as, like, the same tier as Crime Time. Just like legit Crime Time wannabes, for fuck's sakes. Crime Time will always be better than these fucks. But seriously. Like, seriously. We have WrestleMania. For them to win. And then they, they're, this is not for the tag titles. We're just doing a non-title boring shit match. With no st story. And, like, ay, lord. I don't know what to tell you. Then, you know, uh, WD keeps mentioning Le Lesnar and Cody versus Bro uh, Roman and Solo in the biggest main event in Raw history. <sighs> Why are they doing that? And then Owens and Zayn defeats the Street Profits. Now, even if it was a non-time match, they, I mean, even if they were, I understand, even if they won, you know, it, like, whatever. But it's like, you could have just made people pretend to care, at least interested. This is for the tag titles. What a fucking joke, I tell you. Backstage, we see Seth Rollins. He said he's feeling good after sending K Paul, Logan Paul and KSI to the wastelands of social media. He calls Mr. DJ to play his music and he struts to the ring while the fans sing and goes back to Marshall. He's, they're singing. He does the orchestra and he, then he leaves. What a, what a fucking waste of time this shit is. What the fuck was this? What was this? Again, this was basically a cock tease. This is why I mentioned when it just was basically a cock tease. What the fuck was this? What the fuck was this? Not, let alone the guy looks like a fucking faggot. 
The guy coming look, looking like a fucking gay Cruella Deville. Like, what a fucking... What a waste of time. What a waste of time this shit was. Like, wow. This is, this is what we got. He just does fucking nothing. Yeah, keep endorsing the fans with, uh, 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 where they're fucking basically jerking off to the stupid goddamn theme. I I hate that, bro. I hate that. Like, uh, 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 I hate that he makes that thing too. Oh, oh man, it's not even like he's not even an orchestra guy. He's not even an orchestra. He's just a gay flam boy. Fuck, like, why so? Why is so fuck? Why is he so gay? Why is he so gay? I don't know. I don't fucking know. What kind of shit was this, I tell you, you know? What a waste of time. Bobby Lashley's backstage. He says that he has a, a lot of pent up frustration for not competing in WrestleMania. And after coming out of the show, burnt, uh, a hit, burn him up. Then Bronson Reed interrupts. He interrupts Lashley. He inter insults Lashley. He says he proposes a match. And Reed says he can't do it tonight, but eventually Lashley will learn his lesson. Like, what lesson? The lesson to not be fat. Mustafa Ali walks up and says, you know, that your negativity is toxic. You know, you should be positive or something. Apparently, you know, the thing about Mustafa Ali, he's, oh, he's positive Ali. Yet that fucking gimmick literally is being buried. Like, what a joke. Like, you see, this is the problem when you do gimmicks. When you do a gimmick about being positive or whatever, like, this should be obviously a like a sort of like funny edgy gimmick whatever it's not edgy but a sort of like i don't know a heelish kind of ongoing thing but there should be some credibility to it imagine if bo dallas when he started when he says all you gotta do is bo leave and he just kept losing and that's like when he lost the intrigue was gone because they done nothing with him right after that literally this is like the reverse bo dallas isn't that fucking sad and not only that, this is like fucking like, I I I, I mean I, I I don't remember like, I know sure there are times like there were jobber gimmicks that still got over like by de them doing stupid shit and still losing, but like, come on with Mustafa Ali, and especially like who cares about Mustafa Ali? Especially when you know this is a gimmick change. Like this guy has done fuck all to be entertaining. Like who fucking cares? I know all the sports like you should just wrestle. Who fucking cares? Mustafa Ali's fucking garbage. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, positive Ali, guys, wow. Yeah, no credibility, that literally, that gimmick has been fucking dead. Oh, like, this started last week, like, what a joke. It gets fucking thrown, thrown around by Lashley, and the match just starts for no reason, whatever, it just fucking a random match that wastes people's time, and Lashley defeats positive Ali or whatever the fuck. What a joke, okay? Who fucking cares? Uh... Roman Reigns uh, so also called Heyman backstage. Reigns asks if his cousins are gone. Heyman says yes. And Reigns asks if he knew Lesnar would be here. Heyman says, it's the day after WrestleMania. Like, Brock Lesnar, we've been over there go gone for six to nine months. Basically mentioning, you know, breaking, like, basically mentioning the fourth wall type of shit, you know, like, because that's the, usually what would happen. But, you know, you know, you would think, like, wow. Maybe Triple H Raw would have to be different than McMahon's so where they're actually going to fucking try to put some effort to on Raw after Mania, try to make it exciting. And yeah, it didn't, you know? But at least, like, it's something like, yo, yeah, Lesnar was on the show and blah, 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 you know? And was like, you know, my, 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 my tribal chief, I didn't know he would be here. He was like, he was usually gone six or nine months, but, you know, my tribal chief, you have to understand that you guys already had your last match. You guys won't ever have it. He won't ever have a time match again. So you have, you're not have nothing to worry and you have nothing to lose. And then Ray said, this is fine because smashing Lesnar is one of his greatest accolades. Rain says he is also, uh, he would also smash Cody tonight and he will tag Soul in. We will see, show Co Cody who is really ready. Again, if before all this, I would not mind honestly seeing Lesnar versus Reigns one more time. I honestly wouldn't. I know their last match was supposed to be a SummerSlam and last man standing match, but I feel like because of how good that was, and I feel like they could always do. But that's a sad thing. That's like the only few they can really rely on. You know, that's a sad thing. I mean, I wouldn't mind them doing it again, like Hell in a Cell. Why not? Why not that? So they could bring back the old Cell, and they, you know, Hell in a Cell. That could be one of their ways they can actually legit end their feud. Hell yeah. 
But, you know, eh, I wouldn't even mind that, like, you know? It would give something maybe, like, Cody could build, build himself of himself more, and I don't know. But obviously, I hate, like, really, Cody's still going to be the main thing. I mean, I understand, like, you know, that's, like, when you gave him the rumble, that would be, like, a deep push or whatever. But, it's like, the end of the day, like, I don't see him as a main eventer. The guy is, like, not that great, and I don't fucking care. Like, really, he's still feuding with Reigns and shit. I understand this is the start of the feud. They're going to probably be visited by the time of SummerSlam or whatever. I don't fucking know, but it's, like, you know. I don't think Cody's that guy, pal. Really. I don't think so. Bianca Belair comes out. And yeah, bitch. I'm sassy black bitch. Mm -hmm. I got my big weave and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shock Keisha on your ass. I'm the EST, bitch. That means I'm the fucking... I'm the most suckiest bitch in the world. I suck all bitches, too. I suck them all. I suck them all real bitch. Real big, real tight. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna beat your ass, Sharkeisha. No, Sharkeisha don't kick out. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Sharkeisha, your ass. I'm gonna whip your ass. I'm gonna fucking take my fucking weave and shit and pick it up your pocket poopy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it to all the men and all the fucking women who don't want it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm a she hockey bitch. I'm sexy, sassy, black, sexy, you do. No, you're not. Ugh. Then, you know, she said, I'm EST, bitch, you know, I won and shit. It's like one year she, she won the title, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, she, I, you know, Oscar, you know, she's one of the toughest girls I ever raised in my life. Mm -hmm. And then Rhea Ripley comes out. So I'm kind of happy with this, where, like, well, I'm not happy because I don't give a shit about these two women, okay? I don't care about women's wrestling or whatever. I don't. I really don't. If I'm bad to say that, then, I don't know, sue me. You're, you're a fucking cuck and a fag and a white knight. Because you're, you're most likely a simp to pretend to care about women's goddamn wrestling. Especially when they're not, like, hot women. The positive of this would be, like, yes, unify the titles. Which, like, fuck yeah, please, unify them. You know? I hope that would be it. So, like, Rhea Ripley comes out, like, I chose Sean or Fryer. You know, I did, you know, you're lucky because I chose Sean or Fryer and then Fryer instead of Bianca Belair. But I promise you, I will get back into this and I will beat you, Belair. Belair says Ripley made her decision for a reason. Belair says one day that when Ripley is ready, they will see who the best of the best really is. They like, why not right there? You just announced, like, fuck it. Let's face each other title for title. Like, what? Are you really going to wait till SummerSlam? You're going to pretend that this is the main event for SummerSlam? Like, fuck that. I don't even know. I, I, the thing is, apparently, they're not even good. Some people say, they just, this is your WrestleMania 40 uh, match. Like, no, no. Don't wait till WrestleMania 40 when things can happen. Like, when you're going to wait till WrestleMania 40 for this match to happen when one of them might not be changed? No. Fucking, you might as get it over with. I don't even give a fuck to see this match next year or whatever. Get this shit over with. Combine the fucking titles. I don't, I, I, one world, one women's champion is all, is enough. Same thing as one, one WWE world champion is enough. Same thing with one tag champion is enough. Same thing with one women's champion is enough. You don't need, you don't even have a lot of women anyways. Besides, I don't know, a few and fucking, uh, you don't even remember how much women you have anyways. Combine the shitty titles. You don't need any fucking brand split. You don't need any stupid fucking whatever the fuck. Combine your stupid fucking titles. I don't want to see some shitty brand split. Okay? There's no need for a shitty brand split. Come on. But yeah, when they're exiting the ring, they see Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez or whatever. And then Raquel stops for a quick, like, oh, okay, they're a feud and whatever. And then, we, and then we see in the corner, number one contenders for the women's tag titles with damage control and with Kale and Liv Martin. It's like, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? Like, wasn't the point of the Mania match last night for the shot of the tag titles? Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck here? What the fuck am I watching here? Live Mark and Raquel Rodriguez defeats damage control and I don't fucking care. 
I, I really don't fucking care. People are saying because, oh, Ronda's injured, maybe Shane is injured. Then make it clear that, I don't know, I somewhat, like, I don't know, explain it then. There's, like, no reason why this is not happening. This is not no reason why fucking Sh Ronda and Shayna is, like, what was the point? I don't know. They don't explain things to make shit make sense. And yeah, that when I beat by cock the cock please here, like, oh... A fucking Rhea Ripley and Bianca, like, they just come out, oh, we face each other, and just a bunch of bullshit, like, they didn't announce, like, they're gonna face each other or whatever, you know, that kind of shit. The Miz comes out, he said, asks if everyone enjoyed WrestleMania, he says he, he knows they did, because WrestleMania full of The Miz, he thought he might roast some people for this, and that the host, that he did not want to uh, think that he would have three matches. He goes about how Snoop Dogg put him in a situation against Pat McAfee, George Curdle, Kittle, Shane McMahon, and Snoop Dogg himself. He mentions how he, he beat Shane so bad that he couldn't finish the match. Basically, I guess, I mean, maybe like Shane McMahon coming back and getting revenge. I don't fucking know. I mean, that would per I understand people hate Shane McMahon. They say, oh, Shane McMahon could have a match, but not my beautiful Bronson Reed or Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano's so beautiful. I love his twinkie ass. Like, I swear to God, all these smarts are a bunch of faggots that they're crying for these stupid gay wrestlers. There's a reason, like, like or not, sh there's a reason why Shane McMahon was on, was at WrestleMania. Because, again, like or not, he's a big name. People know about Shane McMahon more than fucking your Bronson Reeds and Johnny Garganos. Or Gay Garno, I would call him. I, I understand, sure. The botch basically ruined everything, and yeah, you guys are being... It's funny how people are laughing and think that's funny. Like, really, you're happy that fucking Shane McMahon got hurt? Like, literally, Shane McMahon risked his entire body for you. No wonder his body gave out. And you want to fucking... Legit, the guy has more jaw-dropping moments than your fucking ricochets and your fucking Will Ospreys or whatever the fuck you stupid wrestlers like. He mentioned how Snoop Dogg did the worst people's elbow in the history of people's elbow. And now that he's done with surprises, no more surprises and blah, blah, blah. Matt Riddle comes out. You know, get, oh, Matt, he returns, and, you know, Matt Roth the Mania. I was like, how does this kind of make any sense? Like, what does he have a problem with the Miz? Like, by logic, shouldn't he fucking want to face, like, Solo Sokoa? Since Solo Sokoa put him on the, on the fucking injury spot or whatever, you know? Yeah, like, he took him out of action or whatever. I mean, by logic, I don't know, thank God. Like, I mean, by logic, I'm not endorsing this idea, but by logic. Wouldn't that make sense if Cody was to look for a fucking WrestleMania partner? I mean, our partner, like, maybe in the future, like, wouldn't it make sense, like, Matt Riddle be one of his partners against Solis or Cohen or whatever, since, like, you know, it could be that similar scenario. Well, obviously, like, Solis or Cohen, I don't care. I don't really find Solis or Cohen entertaining. I mean, not Solis or Cohen, Matt Riddle. I don't care about Matt Riddle, especially when the guy legit, the guy legit looked like a gay version of Val Venus. He comes out with no fucking socks, no knee pads, no nothing. The guy legit looks like he's fucking in his fucking underwear. And he fucking, you know, all he beats up the Miz. It legit looked like I'm, I'm like, I'm seeing some gay stripper in public. Like, why? Why would I want to see that shit? I don't want to see that at all. So he attacks fucking, you know, Matt Riddle, whatever. Uh, Otis is shown getting a haircut or whatever, and then they're showing, you know, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, hold on a second, ladies and uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. I know I, I shouldn't do this, but I gotta take something. I'll be right back for a second. Give me one minute. I should not be doing that.
Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm sorry for the pause, but I was taking something out of the oven. Cooking up something. Okay, so... The main event... Main event... Well, it wasn't really a main event. So basically, technically, our main event match... The main, like... The main event match was basically... What was the last match? The last match on the show was actually freaking... Liv Morgan or Kel Rodriguez, whatever. But our main event segment, it was not the main event. It was supposed to be Lesnar and Cody versus Roman and Solo. That match got cut. Or basically didn't happen because right when it was going to happen, Lesnar basically F5's fucking Cody. So he's a heel again. Does that mean, oh, he's aligned with Roman and Solo. Like, I mean, I would have liked, I would have liked it if he was like a tweener. Like he would have probably have gone to attack Roman. I would have liked that. But, um, he attacks Cody. Sure, it was fine. You know, it was fun. You know, I'm not denying that it was a fun beatdown. Like, I think, like, sure, Lesnar doing anything this fucking crazy. Like, it's fucking cool. You know, I don't give a fuck about Cody Rose. It's kind of satisfying. But it's like, you know, that what? So, we're going to legit see Cody and, and Brock Lesnar feuding. And the potential idea of Cody Rhodes beating Brock Lesnar. Like, come on here. Come on. Like, years ago, fucking Cody Rhodes would legit get squashed by Lesnar. Get the shit kicked out him like that. Now he could probably have a competitive match with Lesnar? The fuck? It's not like he built himself. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Um. I guess, you know, we look at But it's like, that's the problem. Like. The thing is with Cody, like, it's just the idea of him, what people think he's good of him. Like, it's not, like, he's not, like, legit good. He's still, like, kind of, like, pretty boring and gay and, I don't know, those stupid gay shit. It's, you know. Oh, but he's, like, bo he's more strong now. That's why. And he left to, to improve himself. No. It's bullshit. So, Lesnar basically beat the shit out of fucking Cody. You know, he death fives him. He... Tosses him uh, around the uh, around the, you know the ringside. He brings the bell. Like what? Are we gonna see Cody versus Brock tonight? Wow, well, no. He hits him. He hits him with a chair. Hits him with a, with a steel steps. Busts him through the announce table with the F five and F five him onto the steps. And then he comes out. He was gonna. He kept coming back up to out to attack the freaking uh, uh, Cody. He basically takes another chair and chokes him. You know, wow. I'm surprised we actually got a normal chair by the way, not a colorful chair. Okay, because well, Lesnar and Lesnar is wearing black. Yeah, what is that? Apparently, what color you wear? He's gonna you're gonna have a different. I don't fucking know. But then Lesnar was gonna come out one more time, and he basically flips off the Kelkin camera. So that's kind of cool, you know. Oh, you know, Lesnar's very edgy. So he flips off the camera. He's like thinking he's gonna attack Cody, but then he just basically does this and ends the show. Um, I guess I said, you know, hey, this Brock fucking beating up the Venom midgets and shit, beating up the Smarks delights. You know what I mean? So overall, I mean, here's the thing. That was good. I'm not denying that. I enjoyed the beatdown. Like, you know, that's good, sure, to advance something, but, like, really with Cody Rhodes. Um, the opening was fine to make you care about the ending, but, like, you see, wrestling shows are supposed to make you care. Like, sure, they had that hook, which is cool, but it just turns out to be a cock tease, which is fucking pathetic. It just goes to show that WWE likes to cock tease fans and they fucking, you know, they don't want to really give us something good to care or look forward to. But it doesn't help the show is boring in general. The show was just as bad as last Like, I would say the show was a, just a bit better by last year in terms of, like, last year was just flat out boring. Nothing to look forward to at all last year. But, like, this Raw was basically like a usual Raw. Like, this Raw was basically just as, like, the same Raw as, like, 2015 Raw. Like, that Raw was basically kind of boring. But, like, when Lesnar going ape shit after WrestleMania 31, when Lesnar basically, you know, he got, he went ape shit. That was, like, the only good thing of that Raw, right? Like, the, the hook and then the, during the show, him face, supposedly facing Rollins and they cock tease the fans. It's basically the same shit. Just basically cock tease, but everything else is boring garbage. But even back, you know the sad thing is, even back in 2015, how is that Raw after Mania better than this Raw? How is that? What a joke. You still had a main event, like, to look forward. Like, what the fuck? 
I don't know what to tell you, man. Wrestling has fucking went downhill, man. But yeah. Definitely a bad route ra- ra- to me. Yeah, pretty boring, but sure. Good main event segment, good opener, whatever. But it's like, really. I just like, it just sucked that that's like what people only look forward to or only care about. And literally, they didn't bother to really make the show entertaining or exciting. And plus, there was no logic. Where was the logic? What was the logic with Owens and Zayn just coming out? Hey, we're going to have an open challenge. When clearly, they are the like, three profits on a tag title shot. Then they're not getting a tag title shot. Bianca is just there with fucking Rhea Ripley, blah, blah, blah. Um, Seth Rollins just comes out to fucking sing. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Like, where's the logic here? Where's the fucking coolness of wrestling? Uh, so basically, that's the problem with no WrestleMania now. Now, after WrestleMania, there's really nothing to look forward to or... I don't know. They're trying. You have to establish some build, and there's not really some building going on for like backlash or whatever. I mean, barely. The only build I guess I can see is really fucking Rock and Cody, and um, Bad Bunny and Rain. That's it. That's literally it. That's literally it. The Mysterio and Do- Rey Mysterio and Dominic, Rey Mysterio and Bad Bunny versus Dominic and fucking uh, fucking Damian Priest. That that's the only build of unfair apparently. What a joke. I don't know. That's what I want to say, people. That's Raw for you. What a joke. Raw was pretty bad. For the most part. Pretty boring. Despite, like, the main event segment. Even though it was a cock tease. But it was still kind of cool. And the opener. What a joke, man. Raw the main you Give us high expectations. And it's fucking shit. That's what I say, people. Just keep real. Get your games. Calls me. Listen to me. Spy me some bitches. Go Osho shit. That's all I say. Until next time. Peace. Goodbye. Yeah,